Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review Becky. And this thriller is about a young woman who's basically home aloneing it on some neo-Nazi thugs. And Lulu Wilson, who I remember from Annabelle Creation, plays this teenage girl whose dad takes her to their cabin. This is after her mom has died and has been dead for a little while. And he just sneaks on her. It's like, hey, here's my girlfriend. We're getting married. We're going to be one happy family. And she storms off. And then Kevin James, yes, the King of Queens, shows up and is a neo-Nazi who escaped prison and is trying to find a key at this cabin for something mysterious that is supposed to be intriguing but isn't as intriguing as the film wants you to think. But... You know what, it still had me wondering what the hell he was actually looking for. But he invades, and then Lulu Wilson's responsible for making sure that they pay. And this film is one of those things where it's like, it was enjoyable for what it was. If you just take it on an extremely gory, crazy violent thriller, it did its job. And it was effective in its job. The action wasn't particularly, like interesting in terms of how it was directed by Jonathan Millot and Carrie Murnion, but like, it did its job, and it delivered the gore, and it had some really crazy kills in it, and it was basically like an R-rated Home Alone, just like, what if Kevin McAllister, like, actually, like, tried to kill them? Despite the fact that some of those things that he did really did seem like they would have killed them, but, you know, it wasn't an R-rated movie. And they needed to continue for plot. But anyway. And this film, Lulu Wilson does her best, but all she really has to do is scream, be angry, and nothing much, not much else. Sometimes, like, smirking at the camera. But I feel like this character is so underwritten and is such a caricature of what... And I saw in a review, it's like, this is what a bunch of men think that a teenage girl's gonna act like, and it's just like, true. I can, I could feel that in the script. And I wish she was more interesting, I had more layers to her. And, like, Joel McHale, who plays her dad's kind of wasted in this film. But the person that really stuck out in this is Kevin James, who legitimately is intimidating. And the thing is, you take a look at him, he's a former wrestler, and, like, you just see him as, like, a doofus and most of the things that he's in but like he can be intense and it's like he could actually be in something serious and be intimidating because he's a pretty hulking guy and he does bring some intensity and it's really interesting listening to Kevin James saying all this neo-nazi shit but in general he's a little bit wasted because he doesn't get a whole lot to do and there's some interesting choices in terms of story about, like, a redemption arc for one of his goons. But, like, in general, if you're just looking for a crazy fun time of violence and just going there, you get it in this film. If you're looking for something with a little more depth and complexity and emotional connection, it doesn't really make it. it. doesn't quite get there. But in general, I think Becky is a pretty fun thriller. And if you just want to enjoy something like that this weekend, go rent it on Amazon like I did. But those are my thoughts on Becky. Let me know what you think and let's talk some movies. But thank you as always for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.